what's going on guys? So the other day I was doing an Instagram live and someone asked me a question and they said, what's the most important thing that you do for your productivity? And for me, the best thing that I do is we do it in Wake Up Wealthy as a group. We have a practice called Reflect and Project. We do it every Sunday on the Brotherhood Call. And this really sets the intention for the week because if you were not laying out what you do each and every week, step by step, how can you expect to get it done? So we do this every week and then on the next call, Next week, we reflect on how that week went. We look at the targets that we set and we hold each other accountable to hitting them. This is very, very important because all of us are trying to play, you know, the one year game, right? You're, we are constantly in a game and that is the game of life and the game of business. But we're always playing the one year game. How much money do you want to make this year? Great. But we aren't playing the 90 day game, the 60 day game, the weekly game to really get specific with what it is that you need to accomplish that is going to move the needle forward to that end goal. So every single Sunday, what you need to do is you need to be reflecting on the past week, really taking an objective viewpoint of your performance, looking at how you did in your mind, body, spirit, looking at how you did in your business. And then you need to project for the next week and we do just that. I set one business target for the week and that's it. One thing, one big thing that I can accomplish this week to move the needle forward to my end goal. And then I set three goals around mind, body, spirit. So, you know, usually I'll set however many miles I need to run, how long I want to do in meditation. I used to set how many meditations I want to get done, but the thing is now I've been doing it so long, I'm so consistent that I, I set X amount of minutes of meditation to really stretch myself. And then I set, I always set a goal for how much time I want to spend with my loved ones, how much time I want to totally disconnect and be present with them. And see, the thing is I'm always pushing these goals, whether it be mind, body, spirit, whether it be in business, I'm pushing pushing these goals a little bit farther. I'm stretching my capabilities a little farther every single week so that I can grow. If you're setting the same goals over and over and over, you're not going to grow. You're not going to get any better. The business isn't going to grow. And I learned this because like, and also one thing that was really fucking important to me is I would be setting these goals. And I remember there was a period where I set the same income goal for six weeks in a row. And I was at the first three weeks I hit it. First three weeks I hit the goal. And then the following three weeks, I did not hit that income goal. And the reason was is because I wasn't pushing myself. It wasn't exciting. I was fucking bored with what I was doing. You have to be pushing yourself to keep it exciting. You have to be pushing yourself to actually grow in your life and in your business. So reflect and project, write it down, make it a practice. This is what gets results for myself and every other member of the brotherhood. You, you do this and you find someone else to hold you accountable to this. It's very, very important.